All right, take three, the camera cut out. So once this hardens up a little bit, I will give it like, you know, a little polishing because little pieces of soap are sticking off, you know, just little crumbly, crumbly pieces from where I cut it. And we'll get everything looking nice and polished and, and neater once I tidy them up. But they do look delicious, I must say. It looks like ice cream. Um, I hope that it doesn't turn all brown, but if it does, I mean, that's all I can do. I have other soaps that, like for example, the orange creamsicle soap, I believe that has vanilla and it did brown on the top. It looks pretty nice though, doesn't, doesn't it, on top? Um, through the middle, the white um, did turn to like um, a beige kind of a color. It was originally a white color and now it's more of a beige which looks really good for that. Um, I don't know if the blue raspberry had vanilla in it but it seems to have turned out pretty good with no discoloration. So, oops, sorry. So here we are guys. Oh look at that. Now we have some great colored pink showing up there. See that looks fabulous doesn't it? What a decadent treat for your body to take in the tub. And I kind of like that brown look, to be honest. I kind of like that. So here we have it. This is our vanilla. Oh, there we go. Color gone again. <laughs> so here we have our vanilla. What is it? Vanilla bubblegum soap, right? It's a new name on our soap, so I'm very happy with this. So bye for now, and I'll bring you back here for another cutting at the end of this week sometime, and we will see the difference that it makes to wait. So stay tuned, and we'll see you then. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Bye, bye from Renee and Gabriella here at Spada.